Put that away. We don't want to shoot him. Bill, look, the marshals. Yep. They'll never take me alive. Coffee, Dick, before I dump the rest of it? Are you local? I can't start my day without my coffee. Let's get out of here. Come on. Take a chance on Bill Devlin. That young rooster would shoot you if you winked at him. Can't rush him. They'd have us cold. I got six hundred dollars in back pay coming. I'd like to collect. <laughs> Being them in dead costs us money. Well, I'm willing to let them walk in if we can figure a way. How about if two of us kept them busy in the front while the other two worked around the back? That's a good idea. All right, you and Bob keep them pinned down. Don't shoot too straight. You might hit them. Yeah, I know. You cover the back in case they try to make a break. sensible. This 12 gauge can blow you apart. I wouldn't be surprised, Pete. Coming out. They got us, Dick. Let's go. Not me. Put your head. I don't want to shoot. They'll never take me in the life. Oh. Huh? Bill. Well, I see you made your plug him, huh? Yeah, you got me in the arm. I try to talk sense with you. You all right, Tom? Yeah. Say, where's your brother Matt? Matt quit, went to California. Fred's taking his place. Hi, Fred. Hi, yeah. Put him on a horse. Hey, uh, where's his folks? He don't have any. 
I guess it's going to cost you, Tom. <laughs> I see you got your man. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, a few days delay, that's all. Judge Callahan's in town. Now, hang in, Judge. He sent me over a hundred clients. The judge was waiting for you inside. I didn't know he'd get here so quick this time. Pete, I know you're worried about me, but I've seen cracker boxes harder to break out of than these jails. Maybe. Let's go in. I uh, beg your pardon, gentlemen, but uh, which one of you is responsible for the uh, deceit? Here we go. And you know the law. Marshal who shoots an outlaw with no family is it's liable, liable for, for the expense of the burial, yeah. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? Clothes not very suitable. He'll have to be buried in them anyway. How much is this going to stand me? Huh? Oh, I'd say, um... Yes, I think we can give him a very fine burial for about $80. $80? The last time it was 50 well, Prices have gone up on everything. I've tried my best to hold the line, but... Uh, $80. I haven't got $80. How much you got? Ten bucks. I haven't got much more. What about the horse and saddle? That's worth something. Mm. Horse is pretty old. Saddle's been used a lot. $35. $35. Well, 40 maybe. Here, how about this? $8. What about those cartridges? $2 more. Well, we can't make it. We'll have to owe you until the government pays us our back wages. I do a cash business, gentlemen. That's too bad. Why don't you sue the government? Yeah, sue the government. No wonder Matt got disgusted and quit. We're on the wrong side of this circus. You'll feel better when you get that back pay, Tom. Keep bringing in dead outlaws, you won't have any back pay. Yeah? What's it said, bring them in alive? <laughs> and who shot them? <laughs> oh, shut up. Hey, say, ain't that most buckboard over there? Yeah. Georgie, what's Ma doing in town? She came into town about Matt. Matt? Glad you're back. Hello, Ma. Tom, your arm. Oh, it's just a little nick. Oh, Tom, are you sure? I ought to know. I stopped a few of them. That's just the trouble. If I had any sense, I'd marry a man that knew how to keep out of their way. It's not too late to call her off. You just try to get out of it, and you'll have more than a nick. Ma, what are you doing in town? It's Matt. He's in jail in California. Laura sent a wire for him. And here's a letter I had. What's he in for? Well, they say he was in that train robbery. Why, Matt would never do a thing like that. Oh, well, Matt was here in Fort Grant when that train was robbed. That's what we told him in the wire. Hey, I know this. Larkin had arrested him. Let me see this. The uh, railroad detective? Yeah, he'd hang his own mother if he thought it would help his record. He's a crazy man. Well, that might be the answer. convicted of train robbery and murder. Oh, no. 
how could they think that Matt would do a thing like that? Everybody knows Matt's kind of wild, but this is plain railroading. And that Larkin is just the man to do it. Losing a son on the side of the law is hard enough. But this... It'll be all right, Mom. Yeah, don't worry. Fred. Where are we going? Where do you think? I wish you boys wouldn't give these back. We can't wear them in California. Well, keep them in your pocket anyway until you need them again. I don't know whether we can afford to wear them again. Seems like all three of us are on the unprofitable side of the law, Pete. Maybe. My back pay comes. Give it to Lara, will you? Oh, sure. And watch yourself with Ed Larkin. He'll convict anybody of anything, guilty or not. That's funny kind of law enforcement. Oh, I nearly forgot. Here's the letter. It may do some good. Thanks. So long, Tom. So long. So Brad, long. Pete. Hurry up, Tom. It's almost train time. Right away, Fred. I suppose you'll have to go. That's my brother. Yeah. You worried? You'll be careful. Why, when you get to California? Trouble with you operators, you can't forget about business. <laughs> sure, I'll work. Here, you'll need some money. The work did you? Oh, I saved it. I don't need it. When I do wire, you and Ma get ready for a wedding, you understand? Yes, Tom. Hey, Tom, the train. When my back peg comes, you get your ring back. Tell us where we'd find Ed Larkin. The detective? That's right. Over at the express office, most likely. Well, where's that? Right down there at the end of the street. Thank you. Tom Denton, Matt's brother. This is my brother, Fred. Thought Matt said your boys were in Texas. We were. Who do we see about getting Matt out? Getting him out? He's been convicted of murder. Matt never murdered anybody. Take a look at this. What is it? It's from District Marshal Coleman. His statement that Matt was wearing a marshal's badge and working with him the day of the train robbery. Well, this is pretty good evidence. I know Pete Coleman. Too bad you boys weren't at the trial. At the trial? We just heard about it last week. Your justice is a lot faster than your railroad. I wish I could help you boys, but it's out of my hands now. Your only chance is to get to the governor with this. Is he here? He's in Sacramento. Well, how do we get there? I'll help you all I can. I want to see justice done, too. After all, I arrested him. What are you doing there? I'll give you a note to the governor. It'll get you right in. But how do we get there? Your best bet is to ride 10 miles to the junction and then catch a through train to Sacramento. Hey, Ed, better hurry. You'll miss the hanging. What hanging? Why, that train robber from Texas, Denton. Hurry up. They're starting already. Dirty line, double cross. We knew that hanging was today. You know Matt's innocent. So you'll send us out of town. The court found him guilty, not me. You'd do anything to close the case, wouldn't you, Larkin? You would railroad an innocent man. Do you know that's murder? You stop that hanging or you'll never close another case. What'd you hit him so hard for? Now he can't help us. 
I'm sorry, Tom. Come on. Why don't you learn to control yourself? Now we're really in a mess. What do you expect me to do? He's going for his gun. Well, you didn't have to knock him stiff, did you? Now we're strictly on our own. Yeah, we'll get out of it. Blindfold, Matt? No. I'm not going to perform. I want to watch my audience. Brothers, dirty murders. How'd you manage to get in a mess like this? You let you out of our sight for a few days? Oh, I don't know. I had a few drinks and got in a fight. When I wake up in jail, this Larkin's got a witness who claims he saw me rob the train. Larkin's quite a boy. There. Well, what are we waiting for? Where are you going? Back and get Larkin. Oh, no, you don't. Fred and I didn't come clear out here to get your neck out of a rope just so you can poke it back in again. Yeah, but Larkin's got... We got, got a... enough trouble with one killing. I had to, Tom. He had a shotgun. Couldn't have missed. He'd have got you both. I know. That don't make him any less dead. Come on with me. Which way, Tom? First, we got to get Matt a horse, then we're riding for home. That's a lot of riding. Uh, at least we got friends there. Maybe back home we can figure a way clear of this mess. Look like much, but he seems strong enough. Oh, yeah, he's a fine animal. You're getting a real buy, horse and saddle, for that money? We'll find out. The food and canteen's extra. How much? Five more. Pretty stiff price, isn't it? Well, suit yourself about it. I'm not running the store here. Say, did you fellas come from town? Yeah. Did you see the hanging? No, we couldn't wait. Ah, oh, I just couldn't make it myself. I hated to miss it. Yeah, so did I. No. So that's who they were. How much start they got? Oh, not too much. You ought to catch up to them in a few hours. Thanks. Just a minute. One of my horses is missing. Just after they left. I bet they took it. Horse thieves, too, huh? That figure's all right. They were riding double out of town. Say, if you catch up to Don't them... Don't worry, you... mister. We'll get your horse back. Cold 
beans and water. Not exactly a banquet. Well, Alex's been running. They'll be sure to spot a fire. We'll make coffee in the morning. Anybody that told me two weeks ago I'd be in the middle of California running from a posse out of... I'm Rutgers. sorry, Tom. Well, it could have happened to any one of us. Yeah, but I know... It just goes to show you we got to stick together. It's when the family gets separated, things start to happen. Fred, try to keep the horses quiet. Yeah, sure. Do you see anything? Not yet. Larkin's like a bloodhound. Don't try a fool stunt like that again. Come on, we gotta get moving. We lost him, all right. Well, let's get back to town. And I'm gonna telegraph every sheriff and marshal from Hill, Texas to watch for him. Wires to every town along the line. They'll never get home alive. Horse thieves, murderers, bank robbers, rustlers. Pete, there'd have to be a hundred of them to do all those things. I warned Tom when he left that... Oh, what's the good of I told you so? There are no more outlaws than we are. Well, they don't sound like the same bunch of road with me. Isn't there anything we can do here? Not much. Except hope they get through. And if they do, I'm still Marshal. I'd have to take them in. Another one? Yeah.
Better put that hat on. The sun will cook your brains. I haven't got enough juice left in me to even sweat. If we don't get some water soon, these horses are going to keel over. Not just the horses. Well. Wait here a minute. Think they'll come this way? Larkin's telegram said so. They must be real killers. Larkin sure wants them bad. Hasn't anybody got anything to do but look for us? And Larkin must have sent a wire to every station on the line. Yeah, they're probably blaming us for every crime in their books. I gotta get a message through to Laura. She'll read that stuff of Larkin's, and I don't want her to believe it. We can't go near a town. We'll find some little station on the right of way. Watch out here. You open for business? Hmm? Oh. Oh, I didn't hear you come in. Oh, sure, we're open. You seem to be having a little trouble. What do you do with that thing? Go hunting? Yeah. Yeah. Look at all these wires. Those killers. Tom and Fred and Matt. Yeah. They're heading east. Mm. And take a look at that. another one right now. Hmm? Yeah. That's it, all right. I pull a job just 50 miles away. 50 miles? Pretty close. Yeah. Just think, $5,000. Oh, I could sure use that money. Yeah, but they won't be coming this way, though. Not with my luck. What would you do if they did? What would I do? I'd whip this little gun together and get the drop on him like that. Pretty fast. Suppose they wouldn't give up. Well, then I, <laughs> I'd have to plug him. The poster says dead or alive, you know. Yeah, that's right. Well, uh, about the wire. Hmm? The wire. You want to send the wire? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who gets it? Miss Laura Brock. Fort Grant, Texas. Well, uh, Brock, is that B-R-O-C-K? Yeah. It's spelled okay. pretty good, hmm? All, uh, all safe. Going fishing. Hmm? Home soon. Hmm? Love. Tom. Hmm? Three words. Hey, Tom, you better hurry up. In a minute. We, we, are, <clears throat> we have to have, we have to have a full name, sir. Tom, uh... Denton. D-E-N-T-O-N. I know. D-E-A-D. Yeah, I mean, the... What was he gonna do with the gun? He's getting it ready for some outlaws. Tell him. Oh, it's nothing, I... Tell him. Denton, oh. What was you gonna do? Tell him. Tell him what you told me. I was... I was, I was going to get the dro drop on them like... Like that? And suppose they didn't want to give up. 
then I have to... Well? Then I, then I, then I have to, I have to plug him. That's right, boys. You see, the poster says dead or alive. Oh, those silly old posters. <laughs> what are you going to do? It all depends on how fast you send that wire. Yes, sir, send it. I'll carry it myself. You haven't got time. That's code. That's right. I once had an idea to be an operator myself. You understand? Yes, sir. Send it. Yes, sir. How much? Oh, how did, this one's on the house. Thanks. Yeah. Big tough guy. They can fight me just because they're killers. Hey, hey. hey what'd you tell me? They were all right, and where to meet us? And where's that? At the fishing cabin. Like Laura got here ahead of us, Tom. Wait a minute, that's not Laura's horse. Well, nobody else knew about our place. Well, I guess somebody stumbled in here and stopped to spend the night. Yeah, maybe. Tom? So this is your little hacienda. Right smart of you. Hiya, Mac. Hi, Bill. Fred? What do you say, Bill? He, you didn't like it too well in California, huh? Nah, not too well. Well, well. A little while ago, you were throwing me in jail. Now we're all one big happy family. All running away from the law. I'll fix you some grub. All right. Where do we take care of the horses? You know, that kid brother of yours is a pretty good cook, but are these beans, or did he make loads for Pete Coleman's shotgun? Look. <laughs> Smoke? No, thanks. How about you? Thanks. Let's see. Boys got forty thousand for that bank job, and then there was twenty thousand. Then there's a train robbery. Say, that's a mighty tidy sum. How much you got left? We're broke. We didn't pull those jobs. We didn't get a cent from them. Is that so? Well, somebody did. Boy, you boys and yachters are dirty in. All the hard riding and shooting and getting shot at. He's right too, Tom. You boys are not being very smart. You'll never shake these charges, not in a lifetime. Now, well, the way I look at it, if they're going to chase you, let them pay. Get some of the gravy. It won't go any worse when you get caught. We could just make one big one. 
where all of us could get clear out of the country. How long do we have to wait for Laura? She ought to be here now. Laura could come with us. We could get set up and then send for more. charges. They're not true, are they? Certainly not. They might as well be. Ah, what are we standing around for? Come on, Fred, get, a, get Laura something to eat and some coffee. Don't give her any of them beans. you at home, Laura. How's Ma? She's all right. Taking it pretty hard, though. Tom, what are we going to do? How could things get into such a mess? I don't know. Who'd Pete Coleman get to take our place as deputies? The express guards. Well, what's the matter? Aren't they shipping money on the railroad anymore? Sure, there's a big payroll on Friday's train. But no guards? They're getting pretty careless, aren't they? Well, they just seal the safe and wire the combination on ahead. The clerk can't open it. They don't need guards. Pretty smart. I'll work it out, Laura. When I do, you'll know. Make it soon. Soon. Talk to Ma, will you? Tell her we're all right. She's bitter, Tom. Yeah, I, I guess so. You'll be safe going back. Sure. Lucky dog, Tom. Yeah. Well, will we do it? Do what? Lap up some of that gravy I was telling you about. That's as good a tip as anybody would want. Payroll on Friday's train, no gods. Are you crazy, Devlin? If we did a thing like that, Lard be part of it. Well, well, forget it. But, Tom, the whole town probably knows about that payroll. Nobody connect Lard with it. There ought to be thirty or forty thousand dollars in it. It's enough to get started someplace else, out of the country. Look, we're not going to ever get a better chance. We haven't got enough men for a job like that. Well, I can get two or three without any trouble. Where do you think we ought to hit, Tom? Well, the train stops for fifteen minutes at Spring Creek at midnight. We'll say this is Spring Creek. Train comes in from the south. Well, see, this is where we are. If we started riding at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Turn around. Drop that gun belt. Take it over here. Open up that safe and fill this up. Well, I can't open the safe. They seal it and wire the combination on ahead and... 
We know better. Open it. Come on, move. Over 20,000. Hey, that's pretty good, huh? It's less than 3,000 apiece. It won't take many like this to give us a steak, and then we can live in comfort. You said it'd only take one. Oh, I must have miscalculated a little. But split seven Six ways this ways. Joe's dead. Six ways, then. Where I leave you. I'm going to Fort Grant and see Laura. Well, take it easy. Right. Meet you at the cabin. Laura. Laura. Tell him. You shouldn't have come here now of all times. I had to. Here. What's that for? To get your ring back. My ring? Then it's true what they said. It was you that held up that train, wasn't it? Wasn't it? We didn't have a chance the way things were, and I figured with a little money... When I heard it... about the robbery, I remembered I told you about the shipment. Oh, Lord, I, I didn't think you'd do that to me. Make me part of a holdup. Is this what you want for us? Hiding in shadows, never showing our faces. But if we could just get away... I'm sorry, Tom. It just won't work. Ever. You know that. Let me do something for you, just once. You take my share of the money and go away with Laura. Are you crazy? You risk your neck for that the same as the rest of us. If we go, we all go together.
minute, Georgie. Would you help me with these bags? Sure. Hey, yeah. Uh, How long are you going to be going, Miss Laura? Oh, I don't know. Till I start feeling better, I guess. Look, this is my idea. Dr. Kruger's. Leaving town. Thought I'd stop and say goodbye. You're not going after Tom, are not you? Not this trip. We're after a young horse thief, trying to get to him before the fellow owns the horse does. Oh, I'm glad. Not that I couldn't use the 40000 But I'd rather make it another way. Uh, well, I guess I'd better say goodbye, Pete. Georgie's waiting, and... Wait till you soak up that New Mexico sunshine. Why, you'll be as good as new before you know it. Look... Pete, if you ever should run into Tom... I'll would... give him every break I can. But I don't think there's much chance, though. The last I heard of the boys, they were way over in western Oklahoma. Funny, isn't it, how you hope for things? Well, not impossible things, either. Just things everyone has a right to. And then... Yes, I know. If anybody had ever told me the boys had turned out law... Now it's all over. Everything. Don't say that. You're young. You still. Goodbye, Pete. It's a lot of money. If we were only still marshals, we could bring ourselves in. <laughs> the hunkers are heading south. Just supposing we made one big haul with the outfit we got. Bigger than anybody ever did. The mornings is getting nippier, too. Got any ideas? I could go for a little vacation where it's warmer. I got one. Remember every fall, the bank at Fort Grant and Express Office? They get all that money from Kansas City for feeder cattle? About $100,000. We can't go into Fort Grant. Ma's still living there. That's the idea. You know the town? Nobody would ever figure we'd come back there to operate. Ain't enough money in one place. I know that. I mean, we take two places at once. What do you mean, two? Two safes, $100,000. What are you going to do about Pete Coleman? Yeah, that's right. Well, chances are he'll be out hunting somebody else. And if he isn't? We've run into marshals before. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, it's a three days ride to Fort Grant. Wait here a minute. What got into him? I don't know.
Pete Coleman. But how could he be looking for us? Nobody knows we're in this part of the country. He's not looking for us. And I got an idea seeing what day it is. What a way to spend a day like this, out here in the middle of nowhere, just because one crazy kid steals a horse. Happy Thanksgiving, Pete. <clears throat> Tom! We felt like being sociable, so we thought we'd drop in and have Thanksgiving dinner with him. Yeah, we even brought it. You know, I got warrants for you boys. I know. You're not after us now. Not enough of you. Yeah. I guess you're right. Happy Thanksgiving. Fred can take care of the turkey. He's the best cook in this part of the country. Well, I don't know. Go ahead, kid. You can make wildcat meat taste like Kansas City steak. <laughs> Remember what you said about my beans? <laughs> Long time since we've been riding together, Tom. Mm-hmm. The way things are now, I guess I ought to get rid of this. Wait a minute, Pete. You still got it. For some fool reason, I never threw it away. I wish you'd been wearing it right along. How long do you think your luck's gonna hold out? If I don't get you, somebody else will. A reward like that? I'm pulling out, Pete. When? Well, I got a couple of things to straighten out, and I'm leaving here for good. Go right now, Tom. Don't wait. Get on your horse and just keep riding. Not yet. I can't. Not for a little while. Take it easy. Hold it. I guess we had. Leaving so soon? Oh, we'll come back and give you a nice long visit sometime. Oh, I'll take that back. Think over what I said, Tom. I will, Pete. Thanksgiving dinner with those fellas. Do we go after them? Not now. I wonder what the boys are doing so near home. It'd be good to sleep in a bed one night. Hello, Ma. Hello, Ma. So you've come back. Well, ain't you going to ask us in, Ma? We can't stand out here all day. You really expect me to ask you in? Well, what are you talking about, Ma? You know how we got into this. We were forced to turn out law. All I wanted was a chance to give Laura a decent life somewhere else. You mean to say you turned out law for Laura? Then you have no excuse for ever robbing or killing again. Laura is dead. Come on, Tom. 
Matt. Take Fred and we'll hit the express office. You three take the bank. Now, here's the bank. Here's the express office. We're right in this way. Hit the horses and split up. Shouldn't take more than a minute in each place. We ought to be out of town before they know we were there. Right. Tom. Yeah? Let's call it off. What? There's no reason now. It's too tough. Two at once. Is scared? You know better than that. Fred? After the day, they'll forget all about the Youngers and the James boys. It'll be us. None of them ever took two places at once. That's no reason. It's reason enough for me now. Look, let me go with Bill and you take Matt. He's liable to start shooting at nothing. What are you talking about? No. We go just as is. Don't make any difference now anyway. Well, there goes the old alarm clock. We better get moving. Cheers, boys. Money in the bank. Exactly 9.45. It's three minutes. Might just as well be three years. We'll wait. We'll what? I said we'd wait. You better hadn't be lying to me, Harry. Why, well, I, I wouldn't lie to you, Matt. If that vault doesn't open on time, it's going to be the last lie you'll ever tell.
minutes. We can't wait, Matt. Come on. We've only got a minute to go. We won't last a minute. Come on. All right. At least you won't have to bury us, Pete. We got money, relatives. Nobody's burying you, Fred. <coughs> All right, bud. Put him in the wagon. 